Libras, my name is Maria at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a general reading for you, our Air Signs Libras. Good to have you here and thank you for coming into the channel. I want to welcome in your cross watchers as well. Cross watchers, you are here to find out what's going on with your person. Therefore, some of this message might be meant for you. So feel free to swap around the characters or the energies as need be throughout the reading. And anytime that you do come across this message and you were drawn into it, was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through for you, Libra, should reflect some aspect of your current situation. It doesn't have to reflect the whole thing. Or it could resonate with just having an inner knowing, an inner resonance. So take what fits. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. just means that the reading was meant for somebody else this week. For those of you, though, that this does resonate with, I'm going to have it extended at the end of this reading. I'm going to dive deeper into the messages coming through by exploring the zodiac signs that come up. And those zodiac signs can be about an intimate connection and background players, friends, family, extended family, blended family, colleagues, work associates, um, your circle of friends, your partner's circle of friends, your partner's family, anybody that kind of influences your energetic field or the energetic field of the connection. And even if you don't know their zodiac signs, you'll recognize their energies as I read through the zodiac signs in the extended. So we're going to find out the, the intentions behind those zodiac signs in this reading. So just keep that with you as we go through this. And let's get started. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising. Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising. Messages for those watching, please. Libra Sun, Libra Moon. Libra rising. Messages, please, for those watching. Libra sun. Libra moon. Libra rising. All right, here we go. So overall energy for the reading, the theme, Ace of Swords, getting some clarity, um, brand new authentic beginning, something that is real, something that feels um, authentic, something that feels um, that has integrity, like getting down to the core issue. So let's see what your current energy is. We have the Two of Pentacles. Could be in a place where you're um, having to make a choice, having to make a decision, having to think some things over, or trying to balance some things. Let's see what your situation is. We have the Seven of Swords. So you're required to use some discernment in this situation, some discretion. Could be trying to run out the back door, but we'll see where that goes. So what's your challenge here then, or your opportunity? We have the Four of Wands. So this is about a commitment that is life-changing. <clears throat> this is something that will change the trajectory of your course of life. So let's see what the universe is working on with you. We have the Empress, growth, abundance, beauty. Something's growing here. So let's see what, um, this could be maturity too. Let's see how you got here. What have you been doing up until this point? <laughs> Two of Wands, not much. Um, you've got the idea going, but you haven't really taken the action to get it launched. So let's see what's heading your way then. We have the Six of Wands. So coming through or coming up out of something. Um, Being recognized. Claiming, being able to claim something for yourself. So let's see um, what your strengths are here. What do you got going for yourself here? We've got the Nine of Swords. So you could be coming through some sort of anxiety or facing, facing your fears about something. Um, <clears throat> coming to terms with a situation that's been very, very difficult or something you didn't want to come to terms with, you're facing, you're facing the hard truth about it. 
So let's see what the outside influences are. We have the Ace of Cups. Somebody could be in love with you. <laughs> um, somebody could be in love with you or really wanting to offer you a couple, you know, like a brand new beginning in, lo in a love relationship. Because I've got commitment here and we got the Empress and the Ace of Cups. So let's see where this goes. What's your next steps? We have the Knight of Wands. So you're going to take a course of action on something. You're going to be heading, moving towards something. A desired outcome. So what is this all about? What, what is this really all about here? We have the Ten of Swords. So there's a very difficult situation that is coming to an end. Um, this could be about acceptance. This could just be about giving up. This could be about, um, it's not giving a crap anymore. But we'll see where that goes as this reading, as this reading unfolds. So what's going to happen here? What's, what's, where, how's this all going to play out? Oh, you well, brand new tangible beginning. So something definitely is clearing out here. Some sort of truth is coming through. For some of you, um, not all of you, this is for a few. I got two of the pregnancy cards here. So we'll see what happens with that. So let's find out what the Seven of Swords is. This is your situation. So this could be having something to do where you're having to either use some discernment, some discretion, um, This could be trying to, you know, find some sort of truth in a situation or a matter at hand here. That was a weird way to flip that card out. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Coins, and we have the King of Coins. For some of you, this could have something to do with a job, a job that you've been working very, very hard at, um, trying to establish some sort of um, like income base, or you know, trying the, using this. This job is like being your provisional piece for your life. Um, for others of you, this could be about, you know, really looking at how much time and effort you're putting into your work or money or having to... Um, build for yourself how much time it's going to be to, to to build for yourself maybe you want to get a house maybe you want to get um some sort of sub substantial or s financial stability under your belt where you're not you, you know you're sitting pretty good here some of you might be moving away from this going to a different job maybe you were at a job where there, it just wasn't um, it wasn't paying like it was supposed to pay. You want to go to a different, a different source of income that seems to be more profitable. For others of you, this could be about an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn. And there might have been some betrayal here. Some betrayal or some sense of um, trust because you're moving away from that. You're moving away from something that you thought was going to bring you, was going to take you to the end, right? You were going to see it through. Some of you are moving away from that. So let's see what this Four of Wands is because 
<clears throat> you're at a crossroads right now. Current energy, choice. of you might just want relief from financial responsibilities <laughs> right so let's see what this commitment is here we have the nine of cups we have the king of wands and we have the two of cups so some of you could be leaving behind a, um, a situation in which you put a lot of time and effort into, um, and it could have been an earth sign or someone with a lot of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you might be heading towards a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, one that you're going to make a commitment to. Um, One where you're happy, it brings you lots of joy. It's a lot of fun. Um, you may be leaving something stable for something that seems to be a little bit more charismatic and kind of, you know, free-spirited. Maybe you're meeting a lot of people through this person. Maybe this person's, you know, it's just, it seems to be a party, a party. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. This seems a lot more fun. This up situation up here seems a lot more drab, like work, 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 routine, everything, you know. Um, like I said, some of you could be sneaking out the back door here, but we'll see. Let's see what the Empress is. This is um, what life is co-creating with you. Sorry about that, Libras. Get it together here. Okay. What's the Empress, please? Clarify the Empress. This reading's already triggering me. <laughs> like, do I want to keep going with this? All right, let's go. What's the Empress? We have the lovers. We have the page of wands. We have the four of swords. Well, abundance wants to come in. Um, I think what life is working on with you is your relationships and your attraction to them. Um, you know, what desires you, what what draws you in, what kind of pulls you in. And we have the Four of Swords here. So there's some kind of healing that needs to take place here for things to like really flourish and grow. Um, some of this might be about sexuality. Um, there might be desire and passion here over, um, that is kind of the driving force more so than it is about friendship and stability and respect and you know all those things that society and the media and you know all the movies play out as like um something that's not part of the equation so to speak um but i think that life is trying to show you some things about relationships and um your thought processes and your desires about them that need to have some sort of, like there needs to be a step back, you know, um, a little bit here before 
go going into something else. So let's see what the Two of Wands is. We have choices in your current energy, and we have choices in your how you how you got here. We have the Hierophant. We have the Star. I'm going to take this one. And we have the Three of Wands. Well, some of you have set your intentions on, you know, getting married. Some of you have set your intentions on a committed relationship that this is, you know, what's going to um, bring you your hopes and your desires and your dreams um, and open up doors of possibilities for you. It may not have happened yet. Um, you may have gotten into the doldrums with this sign over here that just seems to be kind of plodding along. And I think that... Um, there needs to be some sort of maturity here because we have the Empress maturing, growing, right? As what life is trying to help you with. So it, it looks like you want the stability and you want the, um, the comforts, right? You don't want to have to work so hard. You want the comforts of being in a relationship but you're putting more emphasis on the passion and the desire and the fun and kind of the charisma of it all and less about like the day-to-day -day doing the tasks because they both have to go together. So let's see what the Six of Swords is. This is opportunity coming your way. Now remember, feel free to swap around the characters. This could be somebody that you're dealing with too. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands. Well, you, a brand new beginning, like a very passionate, desired brand new beginning is coming through here. Um, and then I think it's going to slow way down. It's going to slow way down, right? Um, and it's going to get methodical again. And then that's when the burdens are going to start and the heaviness and the weightiness of it. I think starting this new relationship, you feel very, um, seen kind of victory. Like it's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing good now. I'm, you know, things are okay. Things are lining up the way I like them to be. This is a brand new beginning. We're both on fire. <laughs> um, and then it's going to slow down. And then I think at this point, you're going to be looking at how did I get here again? Because this is what your strengths are in the situation. How did I get to this place again? So let's clarify what that is. Knight of Wands, so Knight of Wands sometimes can react before thinking through something because they want what they want when they want it, so they just kind of jump in like, you know, it, it's shiny object, objects with a lot of um, glitter. And then we have the Five of Pentacles and it ends up putting you in a place where you are um, alone, feeling abandoned, feeling lost, feeling left behind. I don't think you want this as one of your strengths. 
Libra. This seems to me more like it's a pattern. And you have to start all over again. So some kind of truth is trying to come through here. Ace of Swords. Like the real deal. What's, what's really going on here? Is this about other people or is this really about me? So what is this Ace of Cups? Because these are the outside influences. To me, this is like love comes in. It's very passionate. It's very warm. It's very new. It's very fun. It's very exciting. Um, things are flowing. Things feel good. You're on top of the world. Yep, the world. There's the world card popped out. <laughs> See? The world. And then we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So it, it comes in and everything changes and everything seems to be... Um, Hunky dory, and you know, then all of a sudden there's a mix match in give and take. Six of Pentacles. There's kind of like somebody's giving more than taking, or somebody's giving and somebody's taking, and then it ends up in disaster. Ten of Swords, right? Then it's just like, you know, the rug's pulled out from underneath you. Like, it just it it's a it ends up to be a very difficult situation and a very tough touchy situation so what's the knight of wands because that's your next steps i knew that was going to come out three of so three of wands death five of cups so the next steps are to start dealing with, um, to start looking at other possibilities of a way to move forward other than through desire and passion and maybe, um, you know, you want, what, this isn't having to deny yourself of that stuff, but it can't be the whole driving force, right? Because um, there needs to be an end to this, death. There needs to be some kind of end to this. Like you need to start turning your back onto the whirlwind of it all um, and start dealing with the sadness and the grief before you move on or deal with the sadness and the grief that could be a, an accumulation from all of these because you got healing. If you see here, you got death to the Knight of Wands, taking action on it. That's your next step. In what the universe is trying to help you on, You've got the Four of Swords, Healing, and the Page of Wands. Heal the desire before you take action on it. Especially when it comes to relationships. Because, you know, here we go, Ten of Swords. It's time to end this very drastic cycle, dramatic cycle. That's what the big picture is all about here. So that the truth of the situation and what's going on like, the grass isn't going to be greener on the other side. It's just not. In fact, I don't even think grass grows freely if you let it. Weeds will. And those are medicinal. So let's get one more on this Ten of Swords because a brand new beginning awaits you, a tangible brand new beginning. Yeah, it's time for self-care. Standing up on your own two feet, learning your own um, who you are, standing on your own two feet, standing in your own confidence. This is self-reliance, self-assurance, self-ability. Um, because your outcome is the Ace of Wands, or Ace of Pentacles, a brand new tangible beginning, something that you can taste, touch, sense, right? But it's not full of um, green grass. <laughs> Give me one more on this Nine of Pentacles, please, for this independence. Because you might be independent, but you've got some sort of reliance on 
um, relationships that are very colorful. Five of Swords. This is the struggle inside. This is the war that's going on inside of you about why maybe the mundane or the day-to-day -day or things that aren't like high-driven, high-energy, you know, what is it about that that you, you want to move away from? Because there needs to be some sort of maturity here, some sort of maturing. So let's see what the Ace of Coins is. We'll get one more on that, and then I'll go through who's coming through here for you. We have the King of Wands in the Ace of Coins. And we have the King of Wands here in the Challenge. And then we have the Page of Wands. So... Some of you might be heading towards this fire sign. You might be going for it. It's going to start out very fiery. Um, and then it's going to, you know, it's going from the king to the page. Like the fire is going to kind of dim itself a little bit once life starts showing up, right? Um, I guess this is getting down to the core of the matter of of what the triggers are here for you, how they show up, how they manifest, the Empress, and what needs to be healed. And here's where your divine wisdom and your divine knowledge and your intuitive um, processes start working. Start exploring that about yourself and what that means. I'm surprised the Wheel of Fortune didn't come out here if this is a pattern or a cycle. But some kind of truth and clarity needs to come tr come through. And the truth is always a double-edged sword, right? Because <laughs> you got to cut away what isn't truth. We have the Tower and we have the Three of Pentacles. Might need to... Um, I mean, you don't have to do this alone. Might need to ask for help. Find other people who maybe have gone through similar situations that have kind of come out of it, stabilized themselves, or have been able to find successful relationships. But let's see who's showing up here, because there's a lot. I've got Gemini, I've got Taurus and Libra. I've got Taurus, I got Aquarius. Saggy, Aquarius again, Scorpio, and I think that's it. I'm going to look at fire signs too because there was a lot of fire energy. Um, I'm going to look at fire signs in general. We've got Saggy showing up, Sagittarius. But I'm going to do um, Aries and Leo as fire sign in the extended. Find out what the intentions are of those signs. So for those of you that don't want to go on, um, this is the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck by Judy Hall. Let's get a um, crystal that you can use. Something tangible that you can touch. Taste it. Use the energies. Keep it in your pocket. Put it by your bedside. We have Ancestral Light and we have Moldavite. Ooh, Moldavite's powerful, powerful stone. 
Moldavite is all the rage right now, right? So ancestral light, number 47. The ancestors. Ancestral light has been radically modified during its time on earth. It helps you to find the treasures hidden in your past. It takes healing way back and brings forward your soul learning rolling it into the future but letting go of the experiences that created it any dis-ease you are carrying is ancient and has been passed down through the ancestral line it relates to prevailing attitudes and forbidden emotions that have been kept firmly repressed as well as to the ancient traumas and family dramas take note of your dreams family secrets come to the surface a radical rethink is called for on all that you think you believe and allow yourself to feel. The ancestors are all those who have gone before, not just your bloodline. Heal them, you heal yourself. Your soul past is manifesting the gifts from the past. And Moldavite, which is number 34. So if you start seeing 47, the number 47, the number 34, um, that's confirmation that this reading was meant for you. Metamorphosis. Moldavite was created when a giant meteorite slammed into the earth some 11 million years ago, forming or fusing the power of the cosmos with that of Mother Earth. You are a child of the stars and find the environment of your earth heavy and inert. Moldavite raises your vibrations with in-flooding cosmic light so that you feel more at home. You are on a search for the inner grail, awareness of your divine origins. Release your ingrained beliefs to make way for spiritual metamorphosis. Detach yourself from the mundane issues. You are going through a spiritual transformation so dramatic changes occur as you reach beyond your limits. Talk to your soul to check the outcome of the present actions. Transcend time, avoid sowing seeds of destruction, Fertility and good fortune await. Well, there's your empress in what you're, the universe is trying to co-create with you. Fertility and co-creation. Um, you are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. Your soul path right now is the integration of the physical and the spiritual. Powerful stuff for you, Libras. So that's what I have for you this week. Um, I hope this helps. And until next time... May the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. For those of you that want to go on with me, the link to the extended is in the description box below. Um, I'll be over there waiting for you. Bye-bye.